It is my favorite day of the year, Shrove Tuesday. Some people also call it Pancake Tuesday, and in some parts of the world they call it Mardi Gras, which means Fat Tuesday. Uh, so where does the name Shrove Tuesday come from? It's an old English word, which means shriven, which means to be absolved of your sin. So it was the day before Lent starts, and you were supposed to confess all your sins so you could be holy and pure for the season of Lent. Why do we make pancakes on Shrove Tuesday? Also a good question. So the idea behind Pancake Tuesday is that you use up all your rich, fatty foods before the time of fasting. So that means any biscuits, cookies, chips, chocolate in the house, you must eat it today. It is your religious duty. Go eat feast now. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to make some pancakes. And I have got my baking clothes on. And if you don't have a pancake recipe, check the church magazine and there is a recipe there for pancakes. And why do I like Pancake Tuesday so much? You can make them look like Mickey Mouse or you can make like letters for people that you love. But mostly it's because I get a chance to use Canadian maple syrup. When all the rich foods have been eaten, the meat has been consumed and the wine has been drunk, then on Ash Wednesday, we turn our thoughts to more serious matters. We take the palm crosses from last year's Palm Sunday service and we burn them offering them up like prayers to God. And then we take those ashes and we mix them together with the oil of chrism that we received at our baptism and some water, another symbol of our baptism. And with that mixture, we once again mark our foreheads in the same place that we were marked at the time of our baptisms with a reminder that Remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And this connects our whole lives from birth to death and beyond are in the hands of God. The season of Lent goes all the way from Ash Wednesday to the Great Resurrection on Easter. And during that season, we're invited to deepen our faith through prayer and contemplation and self-examination and taking on new spiritual habits. And from greed abstain, with watching and to Many people think that Lent is a depressing time because the music sounds not as happy as what we're used to or we think that we're not supposed to make jokes or, or be joyful. That's not true. But it is a time where we want to clear away all the things that might get in the way of our relationship with God. So we do try to simplify our worship and our lives. And so you'll hopefully see and hear that in our Sunday worship. But the challenge is also to bring that with you into your home, your workplace, where you go to school, so that throughout this entire season, we come closer to God and we get to celebrate the true joy of Christ's resurrection at Easter. And I look forward to doing that with you each and every step of the way. Peace and blessings, everyone.